and germs is mad dog with the 411 shitter so um, today I wanted to talk to you about why is it that we're teaching these kids that rap music and hip-hop music is bad when I'm gonna give you an example like yesterday was funny man it was like uh, my um, my niece was complaining to my brother about changing the channel because there was a song that was on but it's a lot of cussing and stuff so she freaked out right um, and then uh, and she goes dad why are you cussing so much you must be listening to too much rap music <laughs> it's funny but kind of weird uh, to hear it coming from a 10 year old and then um what does it say? Um, and then he changed it to a channel and he was playing a song, uh, he was playing Getting It by Two Shorter, which basically really it's the radio version and it has really no cussing on it. And the song, really, if you think about it, it's talking about getting a job, paying your bills, taking care of your kids, stuff like that. Don't, you know, put your kids' stuff behind you and move on. You know what I mean? It's basically a positive song. And then that was complained about. So then he changes it to this song, well, that one that was seven years old. But in that song, even on the radio played one, he talks about smoking weed and drinking. But it's acceptable when it's a dude singing or a female singing some pop sound and music. Um, he, he could say as many cuss words as possible and talk about as much negative stuff or, um, you know, offensive stuff towards women all he wants. But he gets away with it because he's singing. You see what I mean? I think that's the... Uh, thing that uh, I wanted to talk to you about. What do you think about that? Hit me up, djrabies at gmail.com, and uh, I'll get back to you. All right, peace.